All right, so I'm going to introduce this uh, idea of integration by parts. And here's an example of a function we would want to use integration by parts on. Um, so we can't do it yet. Uh, we're going to have to develop a formula for this. Uh, you know, if this looked like even x cosine x squared, then it would be doable with what we already know. But that's not the case. You know, in this case, it would be, uh, well, cosine of x squared. So this could be like uh, u... Right, and this could be, uh, well, if this were 2x, right, so let's uh, grab another color. If this were 2x, then I'd have cosine of u du, right, then I have 2x dx, and I could use some substitution, put a 1 half right there, uh, I get 1 half times the sine of x squared, yeah? The thing is, it's not cosine of x squared, it's cosine of x, and so now it's not cosine of u du, it's cosine of u times something else, right? What we really have in this example is it's like the integral of the cosine of u. We, we like du, that would be perfect, but it's, it's more like d something else, right? It's a derivative of some other function. Uh, it's the derivative of, of uh, just like, yeah, it's, it's the derivative of 1 half x squared, you know? So it's, this leftover stuff, it, it doesn't lend itself to just u substitution, okay? And integration by parts is kind of another kind of u substitution, um, but it's kind of a, a product rule for integration. We've got a function times another function, we would take the integral of that, okay? So let's start with uh, finding the formula for integration by parts. So we've got, let's just start with uv. Now, aren't it, this is not actually the function, the two functions that we care a lot about. Like, it doesn't represent this. Um, we're going to develop it. Okay, so we're going to take the derivative. These are both functions of x. So we use the product rule. Yeah. So we got u prime v plus uh, u v prime. Okay, and this starts to look a little bit like what we've been talking about: u times v prime, some function times the derivative of some other completely different function. Okay, now we're going to take the integral of both sides. When we take the integral of a sum, we really take the sum of the two integrals. Okay, now when you take the integral of a derivative, you really just get u, v. You take the integral of a derivative, they kind of uh, are inverses, kind of, of each other. Okay, and on this side we have u prime v plus u v prime. So this is actually the kind of thing we want to take the antiderivative of. It's kind of like what this is. It's uh, some function, u, times the derivative of some other function. Okay. So if we just do a little subtraction here, we'll get that this thing that we want to take the derivative, or the antiderivative of, is equal to u times v minus the antiderivative of u prime v. And hopefully, with all the substitution and stuff, this u prime v thing will be something we take the integral of pretty easily. Okay, so what we need to do uh, to use this formula is figure out what u is and what v is and what uh, du is and what dv is, right? Because we could call this u dv equals u v minus u uh, c. Have I written this wrong? No. We could call it v d u, okay? That's this guy right here. So we isolated this, we subtracted this from both sides. We got u v minus u prime v or v d u v d u, and uh, we'll use this uh, to solve for this, okay? So the thing is, which do we call u and which do we call v? Which way does it go? Um, well, actually, we want to take u, and we're going to take the, the derivative of it. <clears throat> du is going to be uh, part of the thing we're taking the integral of. So we would like the derivative of u to be something that is simpler. And we would like uh, dv to be something that is easy to integrate. Okay. So what we're doing is we're picking the parts that, that, that we want to uh, then split up and, and break into this formula. Now, it's hard to tell which one it needs to be. 
uh, if you don't have any experience here, you might choose this to be U, okay? And you might choose this to be DV, okay? But keep in mind, part of the uh, part of the formula is going to be the simple u times v thing. This other thing is going to be an actual antiderivative that we're going to have to work with, uh, and part of it is the derivative of some function. So you'd like to take the derivative and have it become simpler. Okay. So let me. There's going to be plenty of uh, of example problems. Let me just uh, show you how we would approach this one. I'm going to let u be x, and I'm going to let dv be cosine x dx. Okay. Then I'll take du. What's du? Because I, I need that for, for this part of the formula. Well, that's just going to be dx. The derivative of x is dx. Very simple. What's the derivative? What's the. Uh, okay, so this is a function that is the derivative of some function. What is the function uh, that has this as a derivative? Right? Or what's the antiderivative of this? Well, it's just the sine of x. Just the sine of x. Okay. And of course, we're going to have to throw a plus c in there, but this, that's all kind of uh, little add-on stuff. This is the meat of it. Okay, so now all we need to do is use the formula and hope that the formula, when we take the antiderivative part of it, is simpler. Okay, So if I want to take the antiderivative of this, and I let this be u and this be dv, then all these parts fall into place, then the, the antiderivative I want to find is equal to u, d, let's see, u times v, x sine x minus the antiderivative of v, that's uh, sine x, uh, v du. du is just dx. Well, that was easy, right? Because we know the antiderivative of sine x dx. The antiderivative of sine x dx is negative cosine x. Okay, So x sine x minus negative cosine x plus c. Of course, we can just throw that on there x sine x plus cosine x plus c. That's our antiderivative. Okay, a cool little thing. Like uh, again, uh, it's a, a product rule for integration. Uh, it's a way to take antiderivatives of things that we couldn't have done before. Right? We would just have a function times another function. All right. So uh, some of that stuff that I just said is going to get repeated in some of the videos, but they go over some good example problems. So. Uh, I, I'm sure it will be helpful, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.